Hey folks, it's Rig Ready Pam here at Redwater Dodge, home of the $10 oil change. Rig Ready Ram and we buy your Ram. Behind me, a 2022 Jeep Compass Limited 4x4 just arrived today. This color is called Redline Pearl. Personally, I think it should be called Flatline Pearl because it just makes my heart stop. How stinking cute is this vehicle? It's got uh, all sorts of features. It's got, you know, it's pretty compact, but has tons of room. Let's take a look at it. So up here at the front, it, uh, the gorgeousness continues. Um, look at this front. It's all uh, black and red. Um, seven pillars in the front. Um, I'm not even going to tell you why there happens to be seven on every Jeep. If you know, put it in the comments because, you know, we usually mention it on every Jeep uh, video. So if you know, put it in the comments. But yeah, seven pillars on every Jeep. There's a reason for that. Uh, some uh, honeycomb black grill there. Um, very good look. Red detail, which we'll get to uh, later, but uh, red badging there. Look at these headlights. That's uh, sharp fog lights down there under the hood. You've got a uh, 2.4 liter multi-air engine there that's uh, going to scoot you right along in this vehicle. You are going to be a red blur in this thing because, did I mention it's stinking cute? All right, coming along the side here, you've got some 19-inch uh, Jeep rims there. Those are solid um, rims there, you know, no hubcaps as usual. Um, color match, um, what are these, side mirrors with the uh, signal light in there, nice um, red and black badging there proximity entry colored match uh, handle proximity entry you just push the button and it locks key is in my pocket um, but uh, yeah and then you just uh, come up and you just put your hand behind there and it opens handy when you have a handful of whatever it is you know you're carrying around your pet raccoon in one arm and you can't dig for your key because you know it's a raccoon um, but the, did I mention this color red line pearl I love that uh, pearl fleck in there with the sun out today you can actually see that it is so gorgeous it is uh one heck of a vehicle but you know it is even just as interesting in the back all right coming around the back this is where it gets uh even cuter um let's start over here i love these new tail lights that is just sharp looking um this is the red edition i was mentioning that the uh jeep badging up at the front on the hood was uh, red that's uh all this color with the uh red badging and the uh, black outline makes it so sharp this red and black um yeah got the uh, windshield wiper on the back because you know sometimes it's good to see where you've been this as you can see is such a compact little vehicle going to be good on gas but i mean these seats fold down in the back but look how much room even with the seats put up that is blows my mind just blows my mind and it takes a lot to blow my mind ouch got a little bit of a uh, carpeting there to keep yourself your stuff protected license plate uh, cover for your extra plate up front you know if you want to get a I love rig ready pan plate you could put it on there full size spare in the back there which is uh, handy you don't have to bump around on one of those little tiny donuts a um, little bit of lighting in here you got a uh, 12 volt plug-in right back here so you know you can bring along your uh, little vacuum and clean it out when you get a little bit of dust particles back here as happens you just give that a close um oh i, I want to mention these uh it's got dual exhaust take a look at that how cute is that chrome tipped dual exhaust back here this thing is just stinking sporty got a little bit of uh racks up on the top there but uh you think this is nice you should see how stinking cute it is inside so here we are in the inside. It is, uh, I said it was stinking cute on the outside. I said it was on the inside. Did I lie? How cute is this thing? Got some leather seats here. Got a little bit of Jeep logo there. Um, they are heated, heated steering wheel. Um, up here, we got um, your center console here. You've got your traction for sn uh, sand, sand, mud, snow, and auto. So you can go anywhere in this little cute thing. Not that you want to, because you don't want to get this beautiful red vehicle dirty. Um, you've got uh, a little bit of cup holder here. You've got um, a little bit of storage down here. USB, USC right there. A bit of a little console down here. It's actually fairly deep, you know, considering it's, uh, you know, a little console here, right? Um, you've got your analog um, buttons here, but the big feature up here is this beautiful screen. Uh, let's go to the home button. You can set this up with my pages, add a page 
at a page. You can set it up. You could have, um, you know, a number of different layouts, but we're going to go with the uh, two side-by-side -side ones. Just add a widget. It'll give you what you can pick. Let's say uh, maybe my phone, if I was to add it. Add a widget. Let's go with um, now playing because we like to know what song we're listening to because, you know, you hear one of those songs from the 80s like I do and go, who sang this? Who is this? I know I know this song. Now you can just see it. Speaking of media, there's all your uh, media set up right there. You know, AM, FM, satellite. Everybody knows it's standard now these days. Comfort, where you want your heat to blow, your air conditioner to blow. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, air conditioning, all that. Rear defrost. Phone manager. If you've got an Android or iPhone, you are good to go. Device managers, you can add that. Under vehicle, here's where you have my profile display you can set up how you like it um, whether it boops at you beeps at you your clock your date all that um, stuff your controls here you got rear view camera that is one heck of a view there you uh because the screen is so large you can see everything i think i can see Vegerville from here on this thing i have a tickle in my throat um, and then device manager um, all your apps, categories, all that. You can personalize it for yourself. Go back to home. Steering wheel is pretty standard. Cruise control, volume controls, um, all your phone buttons, all of that good stuff. Power windows, power locks, all of that um, is pretty standard. Up here, you have your uh, lights and you have a universal garage door opener so you don't have all of your remotes up here. Keeps that clutter down there because... You know, we want to keep this stinking cute vehicle looking stinking cute. But, uh, hey, let's check out the back seat. All right, here in the back seat, you have, hey, a back seat. Uh, the leather continues. Um, beautiful, beautiful seats. A uh, little bit of an armrest for Aunt Ethel is in the back seat. She can have her uh, tea back here from Tim Hortons or wherever. And, uh, you know, you can have Uncle Joe on the other side with his wobbly pop in that cup holder. Back here, you got your vents. You got uh, USB and USC down there. A couple of plugins down there. Uh, uh, 115 volt and a 12 volt. Um, you know, like I said, this thing has got a lot of room for as tiny as it is on the outside. Compact driving, lots of room. Um, these seats do pull down, almost pretty flat, and so that extends that already big back into a whole big more room. Um, you know how much Ikea and Costco you can haul in this thing. Um, if you need help, let me know because I can give you my list and you could uh, bring it right to my house. If this vehicle interests you, and why wouldn't it? Because everybody should be driving a stinking cute vehicle. Give us a call, 780-942-3629.